Hey friends, this is Pastor Mark Hale. Glad you have decided to take part of the 24 hours of prayer here at Thrive. Really excited about your hours specifically and, um, and what God's going to do in your life as you pray and you open yourself up to Him. And I just thought we could start your hour with a little bit of scripture. It's one of my favorite scriptures in all of the Bible uh, from Isaiah chapter 6. And basically what happens in this scripture is... Um, Isaiah's a preacher, he, he's a, a prophet, and he goes to the temple one day. Just like any day that a, a pastor might go to uh, the church that he's pastoring. And so Isaiah goes to the temple, but something unique happens uh, that day. God shows up. And so this uh, scripture really talks about how God shows up when we present ourselves to him. So here it is. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple. I would have loved to have seen it. Above him were seraphs, or kind of like angels, uh, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two wings they covered their feet, and with two wings they were flying, and they were calling to one another, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. So here he, he's just coming to church, and all of a sudden, God shows up. He says this, he says, Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among us, amongst a people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the God, Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphs flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. And with it he touched my mouth, and he said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Then I heard a voice, the voice of the Lord, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And so there you have it. Isaiah shows up to church and he's getting ready to pray and do basically what you are about to do. And God shows up and God fills the place. It wasn't just a checklist that he was checking off that he had done his hour or that he had done his time at church. But Isaiah was putting himself at the feet of God saying, whoa, I am ruined. I realize I am in the presence of God. And so as you begin your hour, what you're going to see on the screens is going to prepare your heart, help you to prepare your heart for an amazing hour and encounter with God. So I'd encourage you to uh, have an open heart, have an open mind, and just see where God leads you. And again, thanks for praying today. We love you. I uh, hope that you come back uh, Sunday for a great service. It's going to be awesome. It's a no-sermon Sunday, and uh, sure appreciate you. God bless you. Have a good, good uh, hour of prayer.